Hello everybody, this is Ghost Hunter 385. I am back with more Warcraft 3 Reforged. Three days, and, has yet to show and another topic and more commentary for I hope everybody. I'm not making a huge mistake <sighs> but by trusting you. First thing is Chief, the clans first. are assembling as you ordered, <laughs> but it will take them some time yes. to reach us. Hello, then we must prepare place. this camp immediately. I want my warriors to have food and like the video and subscribe. Yes, been Ring the bell. He and the Warsong clan were supposed to have been here by now. Or I might just have to come down. I might have to come out of this cell and enjoy you with a nice oolong tea and fava beans. But anyway, yes, I uh, do appreciate the character of Hannibal Lecter. Now, let's get in today's now, topic. We'll For all lives. the women out there who complain about the men Chief, who pump and dump, have rotations, hook up with you and just screen, never call you back, Lotaro, you know, these warriors, men we were created by women. Now, I can already sit here and hear someone was saying, oh no they're not, they're all just mega rich, big fat jerks, and blah 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 blah. Okay, let me lay a little bit of stats down for you. Most men do not make over 100k a year. Your average man, depending upon his age range, generally, generally, if he's in his 20s, dude's lucky to clear 30, 30k. If he's in his 30s, you know, if he's got a good job, he's making maybe around 40. And if you're in your 40s and you've actually, in your actually mid career and you've actually done really good for yourself, you're looking right around yeah. 60 or 80 or a little more, depending upon your chosen career. Because engineering pays way more than some top, some form of secretary or office assistant. Let's be frank here. Now, where this comes into play here is that. The type of men women are talking about here are the one percenters, the guys who make over a hundred thousand. They have multiple businesses. They do this. They do that. They constantly keep themselves busy doing something. Take your pick. You know, spin the wheel. You know, wheel of morality. Turn, turn, turn. Tell us the lesson we should learn. <laughs> I'm stupid, <laughs> but. The point here being is, hey girl, watch out for this F boy. <laughs> Guess what? It's women like you that make them this way. How do you make them this way? It's simple. You get all the little heartbreakers running around in their 20s where they've got men raging from their, so from their same age group to men who are 10, 20 years older chasing after them. The spirits are and guess what? All of these men will chase a woman. And if it's the other way, it, and the only way a dude gets chased or pursued is he just, he has to be attractive enough for women to even pursue him. But you know, I'm getting off a topic here. I already did a dating video. If you, I can put it in the description if you guys like, but I don't think I will. It's not a really good one. But, but getting back on track here, most f boys are the are the byproducts of women's own negativity. Or to be more precise, their own behaviors. Now, people. Now, I gotta sit here and hear the women screaming. What are you talking about? We don't do anything bad to men. Okay, let's go down the list. How many modern women have cheated on men? Okay, one. How many modern women have used men for foodie dates? 
two. How many women have cheated on their guy? Three. How many women have a rotation of men to pay for all their stuff, to pay for their bags, to pay for this? Four. How many women have dated a guy and then been fooling around with another guy? Now, don't mistake cheating here. I'm saying cheating in the in the sake of a relationship where, you know, we could sit here and talk about ex exclusivity. But the point is, is that if you as a woman have hit any of these criteria you know you could throw only fans models onto this as well escorts you know whatever you can throw that all on top of there yeah yeah you can throw it all on there no biggie no big deal at all but the point is is you went and did this to a bunch of men and what did they do in return they said, some of them just said, you know what, yes. I don't need some dirty hoe, pun intended here, I mean a gardening tool. I don't need some dirty gardening tool messing with my life, destroying my self-confidence, destroying my self-esteem. You know what, peace, I'm out. I'm not going to bother dating anymore, I'm not going to bother with this, not going to bother with that. Women, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to go get my I'm going to go get my job, I'm going to get my career and I'm just going to walk away. What do some other men do? Well, some other men just go anger. They get themselves in a position to where women want to date them because they see potential with them and what do they do they do the they do the rotations they do the cheating they do the hooking up they do everything like this and you know what if you're a woman who's gone out of her way to hurt a man whether intentionally or unintentionally, let's be fair here, some of it is unintentional. But the point is, is you hurt this person. And what do you expect this person to do? Oh baby, I love you. Do you expect them to do that? The dumb ones do, but not all of them. But in any case, this is Ghost Hunter 385 signing off. I will see everybody in the next video.